What's up? I can't read, but that's all right. Because if you've been following along, you know we're on a journey to fix that. That reveal was life-changing for Oliver James, a 34-year-old from Southern California. And I want to tell you, the book community, because I just found out there's a book community, is off the chain. Y'all got me so hyped. I don't come from this world, so I didn't even, I didn't even think this was a platform. I didn't know people were going to help me. I'm like, book talk? I'm like, I didn't know there was a book talk community. And I didn't know I was allowed to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I, I'm like, I can't read. I come from the other side of tracks. Oliver's upbringing led him down a rough path. I didn't have too much education leaving the house, but I had street smarts. So when I got to school, a lot of the teachers when I was growing up in that time zone, they viewed me like everything else they seen on TV. You know, I'm the rapper, you know, I'm the thug, I'm the this, because I look like them. Now, do, am I that? No, I'm an eight year old little boy. Oliver says he also dealt with situations at school that were not conducive to learning. And when they put me into special education at that time, they were allowed to restrain us. So it was really hard for me to get any type of education with starting off with that type of foundation. I was built on a rocky ground. Oliver also dealt with mental health struggles and learning disabilities. I seen that my mental issues played a big role in my behavioral problems. Let's basically say that. I did have mental problems that were also tying into my anxiety, I had depression, you know, I had PTSD. Oliver later served time for trafficking guns. This is the first time I'm telling somebody this. I thought I can only go to jail for selling drugs. I did not know I can go to jail for what I did. I've never told nobody that because I was too embarrassed. And they're like, no, you're going to jail. And I'm like, but why? And I'm literally telling them, why are you sending me to jail? And they're like, you, you committed a crime, man. And this is the lack of education. I didn't even know what I went to jail for because I couldn't read my paperwork. Don't, I still, to this day, never read my paperwork. Later in life, Oliver focused on fitness. Mount Everest ain't got and working out with a book in hand. What am I doing? Well, I'm reading a book while I'm doing a plank. Oh, well, it, it transitioned because um, I was I was trying to connect something that I was good at was something that I wasn't good at. And I would literally be at the park and I would do like 10 pull-ups. And after my 10 pull-ups, I would sit there with the book. And then out of nowhere, I was like, you know, since I got this thing open, I'm gonna read a page. That just opened up like Pandora's box. It just allowed me to just be like, my mind was blown. So it became like my workout partner, it became my best friend, it became a journal, it became all these things I learned now. It became my life, it became a new world. You know, it became a story, it became a movie. He wants to read as many books as possible. What is the best, hold on, what is the biggest thing that stops people from living their lives in the present moment? Fear, and we must learn how to overcome fear. I've read, I'm on my ninth book. So since October, I'm on my ninth book now. My goal now is to read 100 books all through, but you know, they're, they're all different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna be reading kids books to my kids. I'm gonna be reading all different stuff. I'm reading. I'm reading books about my mental. I have an OCD book I'm reading. I have, I'm literally reading it every day. And in the process, he wants to better himself and become a motivational speaker. If that's it. I don't go to no bars, I don't go to no clubs, I don't, I don't do nothing. Because I know my mind is, it, until I become the reader that I see in my head, I ain't got no time for no bars. I ain't got no time for no friends. I ain't got time for no party. I just want to learn how to read. Even all through the prison and everything, I just want to read, man, that's it. And Oliver credits TikTok for everything. Thank you for TikTok and Book Talk. And because when I did it, it was like every book person around the world was like, come on in, buddy. Like, we're going to take you in. Come on in. It's like sneaking through the back door or something. Like, you know, I was just like, that's exactly what it was. I'm like peeking in, like, am I allowed in here? And I'm like, you darn sure are allowed in here. Bring yourself in here. <laughs> like, it was amazing. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.